Zoom is a complex and powerful tool for communicating remotely. Whether you are using Zoom as part of a class you are teaching or you routinely lead meetings over Zoom, knowing about the tools that Zoom has built in to keep audiences engaged can make you a more effective presenter. Zoom's engagement tools include in-meeting chat, nonverbal feedback symbols, polls, whiteboards and annotations, breakout rooms, and a brand new tool where you can share slides as a virtual background. Let's start with chat and nonverbal feedback. These are pretty self-explanatory. Chat is a good way to involve students who are shy or reluctant to speak up, and the nonverbal feedback symbols give students a way to communicate their responses and needs. You could use these in so many ways. Having students indicate their understanding by giving a thumbs up before moving on to the next topic. Or in this example, a slide that instructs students to put an emoji or an adjective in the chat that tells how their day is going. Something that simple can start class off on the right foot and get everybody interacting. Next, let's talk about polls. In order to create a poll in your Zoom account, open your meeting and scroll to the bottom of the page where you will see registration, email settings, branding, and polls. If you click on polls, it brings up this icon for create. If you click on that button, then you will be given the opportunity to write a question. It can be a single choice question or a multiple choice question where someone is allowed to choose multiple correct answers. Put in your choices, you can continue to add questions or just that one question. And if you click on the three dots, then you can allow participants to answer questions anonymously. This is a good way to gauge how much of your message is being picked up on by your audience and whether you need to go back over other points. To deploy the polls, when you're in your Zoom meeting, click on polls and you will have this window where you can edit the poll, create a new poll, or launch the poll that you've already created. Next, let's talk about whiteboards and annotation. To open a whiteboard, go to share screen and you have all these options, different screens that you can share. And one of your options is whiteboard. If you click on that and then click share, you'll have a whiteboard that you and your audience can work together on. Or just use the annotation tools. The annotation tools allow you to use text, drawing, stamp, spotlight, like the one I'm using now, eraser, change the color, undo, redo, clear all of your drawings or all of the drawings entirely. You can even save your work. This can be used with any type of material that you share. For example, let's say you're sharing your screen and you share a Venn diagram, and then you ask your audience to use the text annotation to type in comparisons between two things that you're discussing. Or maybe you give them two options and have them pick a side. You could even have them type in their best persuasive argument. Then there's breakout rooms. You'll find the icon for breakout rooms amongst your controls. If you click on it, it opens this box where you can change the number of breakout rooms you want to create. You can assign automatically, where Zoom will automatically put your participants into breakout rooms. You can assign manually, where you choose who's going to be in which breakout room. Or you can allow participants to choose the room that they want to be in. Once you click Create, it opens this box. In this box, you can use Assign to assign people manually to different rooms. You can add a room. If you already used breakout rooms once and you want to shuffle everybody, you can go to recreate, which will shuffle the people who are in the breakout room so that people will have different members of their breakout room. Then click on open all rooms. When you click on open all rooms, you get the button for broadcast message to all, which means if you want to send a message to all of the breakout rooms, you can type it in here and it goes to all of the rooms. It might be something like, okay, two minutes left or instructions. We also have this new checkbox, share to breakout rooms. If you open your screen share options, um, you can now share anything that you would normally share 
to your breakout rooms by checking that box and clicking share. Last thing that we're going to talk about, share slides as your background. This is brand new. If you go again to your share screen and you choose advanced at the top of the box, click on that and you open this. Now you have these options, including PowerPoint as virtual background. What does that look like? I'll give you an example. Okay, so here's my PowerPoint and then I need to turn on my video. And there I am. Uh, I can also take this box if it's in the way and move it around the screen. I can make it uh, bigger or smaller. One thing that you should know is that if you choose to do this, you can flip through your PowerPoint, but um, if you have any animations, your animations will not work. So make sure that um, you, if you have animations, you just do it the regular way. But otherwise, this is a good way for you to be more interactive with your audience. Hopefully you found something within all these tools that's going to help you engage your audience better as you go forward from here.